I'm a mom to an eight-year-old boy who's at home right now. He's, they have, there's professional development going on in, in Atlanta too today. And I do this work because of him. I do this work because I, I look at the world that we're living in and I look at what's going on right now. And I know that not only does our next generation need to be empowered, but we need to be empowered in order to empower our next generation. Trauma decontextualizing a person looks like personality. Trauma decontextualized in a family looks like a family trait. And trauma decontextualized in a people looks like culture. So we all, 100% of people, have trauma. We're gonna talk about how the brain processes information what I don't want, what I don't want. So what am, I, what am I seeing? What you don't want. When you start to understand how things work in your brain, and so what the brain just produces is more of that. It gives you more access to interrupt certain processes. You just keep letting it pile on and 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 then you either implode or you explode. Because you know, people don't just go from zero to rage. There's gradations. So when you can identify mad and then work backwards to the emotions that are less intense, then you can begin to catch them before they get to the emotion. So that's just like a communication tool that opens up for those of us who it's difficult to communicate emotions as soon as you notice the discomfort. This is not to like ignore emotion. Emotions come. But if we take the case that we're moving ourselves from the effect to the what? Then we can control what happens next. Ah, which is great because the point wasn't to relax. You actually did the exercise. You heard the thing. That's exactly the point. Not to go inside your mind, but to come outside of your mind. That was really great. And one of, again, one of the reasons why I do this, why I do this work, it's, it's for you all and it's also, like I get a lot out of doing this too. There's a little bit of selfishness in it. Because the more I teach it, the more I get it, the more it sits and I'm trying to break generational cycles. We all have a role in that, right?